green. Here we go. Well, it's today, St. Patrick's Day, so everything is green. Um, I'm going to go post our link on the website. The website is mammothgardens.com. And um, once you get to mammothgardens.com, you'll click on the harmonica girl on the front page. She will escort you into our daily schedule, which has all of the sheet music on it. And uh, in addition to that, on the website is how to play information, recommended harmonicas, um, and what else is on there? There's also, what else is on there? Oh, there's a whole archive of all the videos we've done, and there's more sheet music in our harmonica library, sound files, so you can listen to the song before you undertake it to see if you know what's on the paper. Um, so you're not playing what's in your head versus what's on the paper. So uh, and and I'm updating uh, this stuff all the time. We have um, the last collection that I put together of everything was 40, 50 pages, and now we have easily three times that amount of music. So I'm going to have to update that. I want to have a PDF that's ridiculous how big it is. And so that's the plan anyway. Let me go post this on Twitter while everybody comes in and gets sits, sits gets gets sat down. HTTPS Mammoth gardens.com that pops up let's see let's put on when, when the girl with the nose ring pops up I like to put on any other image uh, let's put on that image today and then I hit tweet alright and then we can close that that's kind of a dumb thing I don't know what I was thinking when I did that um, <clears throat> all right, who's in? Sandy's in. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, Marcia. Good morning, everyone. She can put on a. How do you guys do that? I gotta find one of those. Let's see, where's the St. Patrick's Day thing? That's super cool. Look at all these things you can do. Where's the St. Patrick's Day one? I'm gonna put that on there as well. Uh, oh, it's getting. We're gonna go through all the people first, and all the animals. There it is. Would you give me a four-leaf clover? I'm going to give you a three-leaf clover. <laughs> Tweet. All right, nice. Uh, all right, then I can close this down. Um, who else is here? All right, go away. Uh, Evelyn made it in. 64 degrees, partly sunny in Cuenca. Warming up beautiful down there in Cuenca. Uh, cat, hey, Gary, love the green shirt. <laughs> Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Miss Cla I know you missed classes yesterday. Our spring break had shots, so I went to Dallas. Oh, drove to Dallas to get your shots at the bookstore and a restaurant. <laughs> you went to a restaurant? What was it like? <laughs> I remember restaurants. We have several, and, and I, I don't know if they're world class, but they're certainly like the best of Denver type restaurants within walking distance of my house. And um, uh, we haven't been to anything. We, uh, occasionally, we will get something from Qdoba. We run in, terrified out of my mind, grab it, and <laughs> run right straight back out. Uh, noodles. Uh, we've eaten at. There's an Indian, fast food Indian type place over here we've been to. Um, pizza parlor. We go and we'll have, go pick up a pizza. <laughs> I haven't sat in a restaurant. The last restaurant we sat in was last summer where they had a patio. Um, we were very far away from everybody else. I felt terrible that the, the uh, um, server was having to deal with us. And uh, we haven't been back since. So yeah, a restaurant. That sounds just positively lovely. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Before all of being the before time, um, just go into a restaurant. Sometimes Donna would say, "Let's go to this restaurant or that restaurant." And which one do you? Which one would you prefer? And I'd be like, "Which one is most likely to have a real sit-down experience where somebody comes, you pay extra, they come, and they they take your order, they bring you water, <laughs> they ask you how your day was." I love that, and um, yeah, it's been a long time. Been a long time. All right, hey guys, I gotta go a tiny bit fast today. Um, I am. Uh, had a computer issue this morning and I didn't get my ukulele stuff posted so I want to kind of crank it out today and uh, and then that will give you guys time to practice on your own a little bit um, and that's what to be honest that's my plan every day but I don't succeed at it very often so let's go grab simple gifts let's get that one knocked out today 
Um, and I noticed I revised it, so let me see if I actually re-downloaded it. Uh, Simple Gifts Diatonic. All right, let's give this a try. Um, yeah, the February 15th version is on. Here's the one we're going to be going from. And uh, let's warm up with that. Um, all right, let's see. Diane is in. Uh, let's see. Fran, did I say hi? Don, did I say hi? I can't remember. Uh, Diane, St. Patrick's Day, Patrick's Day, have you ever heard the song When Veronica Plays the Harmonica? I have not. <laughs> oh, Diane, send me a link. That's funny. we got to play that one for sure. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you, Marianne. Good to see you. Ann from Parker. Uh, we're going to a restaurant on Friday, and I'm feeling scared. <laughs> we both, I know this is where we're at. Well, we, you get your vaccines, and you're like, all right, I think we're fine to sit in a restaurant. And the restaurants, of course, are also being uh, super careful because, you know, they have employees, and they want them safe, too. And <laughs> still, we're all like... Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Wish me luck. I agreed to play Danny Boy on my senior community St. Patrick's Day Zoom party tonight. Excellent. Don, I'm super excited. I hope it goes well. It's going to go well. It's not, I don't have to hope. You're going to kill it. It's so exciting. You're doing a, like, oh, if there's any way I could uh, sit and listen to you, I would love it. That makes me super excited, Don. Uh, all right. So Don's got a professional gig tonight. So let's get on to Danny Boy and make sure everything's in great shape. Um, yeah, Diane, look on, uh, look on, look on YouTube. I bet you I, I adjusted this for no, for no reason. I got to fix that. Sorry. <laughs> I adjusted this thinking I was going to be helpful and it wasn't there. All right. Uh, go check on YouTube, Diane. I bet you it's on there somewhere. Um, let's see. Uh, Christine, I'm ready to purchase a G harmonica for those who own one. Can you recommend the brand and style? Um, well, mine, um, I buy, I, mine is a, um, uh, special 20 and, but those, uh, lots of guys, lots of you other people have tried other brands. Um, so let us know what you guys think. The special 20s I like is they're relatively inexpensive and they've got a plastic body. So they are less affected by, um, humidity and moisture and all that stuff. Uh, but most guys that play uh, harmonica like the wood body ones. And so those of you guys who purchased a G, um, and if you're happy with it, tell us what brand you're using. Um, yeah, Kat says it felt a little scary. You know, I, I, I think we're all wise just to be thoughtful <laughs> about this whole program. There'll come a day when we get to go there and we don't think about it anymore. But for right now, right, we are thinking about it. And so just make sure you guys are getting your vaccines. I think that's the important part. Um, all right, simple gifts. Let's get it and let's get it knocked out. And again, I got to go kind of fast today, guys, because I got to I got to fix this computer problem I ran into from the top. Three beat count in, blow six, two times through. One, two, three. <laughs>
good. Busy planning. You guys are all chatting over there. I'm like, I wonder what they're talking about. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Fran. Fran says, I bought the Marine Band uh, G harmonica, and I find the high notes, still find the high notes pretty difficult to play on the Marine Band, okay? Marine Bands are very famous. They're very, um, they have a nice mellow wood sound to them, and a lot of people like them. Uh, the revised version of Simple Gifts is not posted. The one you posted is January 28th. Um, let me go double check. Um, it is. You know what's happening? <clears throat> um, Christine, um, you need to hit refresh on your browser. Your browser is pulling up the, the document that you have in cache in your computer. So if you'll just pull, click on it and then hit revot, hit refresh, um, you'll get the new version because um, that's what's happening. Your computer's pulling up your cached version of that. So yeah, it is posted though. Uh, Carol, I bought the Honer Marine Band crossover and I'm pleased with it. So, she, so Carol bought the expensive one, uh, but likes it. Nice, very good. Um, Marcia has a little crossover as well and, uh, uh, and a special 20 G2. Um, so so crossover and special 20s are getting high, high marks. Uh, Marine Band, maybe a little iffy. Uh, Don says, I like the special 20 for feel and sound. I also like that I can sometimes uh, clean it just by running water through. Yeah, I mean, that's the nice part about plastic harmonicas, right? Just <laughs> makes it a whole lot faster. All right, there's Francis. All right, very good, Francis. Okay, good. Uh, let's go play. Uh, what, what, what is the next song we're playing? Oh, let's do our scales. And then, you know what, guys? I'm going to skip scales today just because I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So let's go straight to Love Me Tender, please. Go to Love Me Tender. Um, and I apologize for jipping you guys out on a little bit of time here today. But like I say, I ran into a, a terrible, <laughs> terrible computer challenge this morning, which resulted in a whole bunch of other stuff getting not done the way it's supposed to get done. And... Um, I am always amazed at how much I depend on these these things, and 99% of the time they don't work, and but th they work just fine. And then all of a sudden, one day, for no reason whatsoever, the computer freaks out, and I actually know how to run the darn thing, and it's still just is like, nope, not gonna do it for you. Harmonica cloud. How many your songs? Love me tender, love me tender, diatonic. I didn't get it. Download. I apparently didn't put the new version in my gadget here, so let me get that for, and then we'll be ready to roll. Okay. Here, here. Storage. Download storage. Download harmonica. Try JKL. Love me tender, diatonic. All right, so you should have the February fifteenth one there. All right, friends is in. Bummer, overcast again. Sun is supposed to come. Yeah, we're supposed to have a nice couple of days. Today is the last day of kind of crummy weather, Francis, and then we're going to get better. Uh, Christine, just double checking in with you if you were able to pull that one up. Um, hopefully, we solved the problem there. All right, Love Me Tender three times through. Let's play all three times. And um, again, not this one's not quite as hard to play as some of the other more advanced, more modern music. Uh, so channel, channel your inner Elvis, your Irish Elvis. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Three times through. Four beat count in, blow six. One, two, three, four.
I'm playing this song in the wrong key. <laughs> I've been like, the whole time I've been like, why are, why are my draws backwards? Uh, let me go from in the right key. How about that? From the top, uh, three times through. One, two, three, four. Yes, and Sandy and I and all of you guys just found the exact same two typos. <laughs> um, I will repost this one more time. Uh, I don't know how those got past me this time. Uh, measure 7, the 6 should be a minus 6. And measure 11, the 7 should be a plus 7. Measure 11, the 7 should be a plus 7. So those two are those two are for sure typos. Um, and I think I'll also add a chromatic line on here. Um, that's a beautiful song. It works just fine on diatonic. Um, but I think it'd be I think it'd be fun to have a, a chromatic one as well for this. So um, so we'll add a chromatic line. I'll fix those two typos, and uh, we'll end up with a really superior version <laughs> of Love Me Tender. Um, and uh, so thank you guys for that. Um, yeah, um, those two two things are exactly what uh, ex what what Sandy said. That's how that's you know you live in Michigan. You get pretty good at. Uh, living life the right way all right now in honor of dawn we're going to go straight to uh, uh um, danny boy today and we're going to make this thing we're going to give him um another opportunity to get ready for his uh performance tonight now don here's the thing you think about okay number one you dress a little nicer than you would on a normal day 
and you spend about you show up about 10 15 minutes early but don't turn your zoom on yet right and just play through it a couple of times not a ton of time right don't spend the rest of your day obsessing over it um, play it you'll know you know how to play this song you are going to be amazing and uh, and then um big deep breath before you begin and then just stay focused in on your belly and i think you'll be yeah, i think you're going to hit this hit a home run and people are going to be like hey tell me about how you learned how to play harmonica and you're going to be like all right so there's this guy <laughs> All right, and uh, and remember, Don, when you make a mistake, you just keep moving forward as if it never happened. That's what I do. Um, it, just, it just is not a thing, right? It just mistake. We live in a one-dimensional art form. However you play it is how you played it. Um, people are going to be thrilled that you were there, and uh, um, you're going to you're going to you know, and you probably won't make any mistakes. That's the good news. So, all right, in honor of Don, we're going to play Danny Boy once. Uh, we'll probably play it twice. Okay, let's play through it one time first. Take a little, little let's pat ourselves on the back, and then we'll play through it one more time. All right. I think the key with this song for me is going ahead and leaving my finger on the button. Those buttons show up in weird places, and they'll get you if you're not ready for it. Okay. The other thing, my only note on here, measure thirteen, right in the middle of measure thirteen. <sighs> get rid of all of your air because you got a whole bunch of draws coming up that's going to make to make your life miserable. All right, let's see if you can get the first note right. And that's that one right there. Yeah, so it'll give that two draw with your button a, a pretty decent amount of air coming in. And you go, oh, Danny boy, right? Just give it a give it a lot of air through there. I think I think it'll sound get you off on the right foot. Okay, four beat count in, one beat rest, draw two with the button. One, two three, four, rest.
wiped out Sun 16. What did I do wrong there? And if I just would play what's written down on the paper, I would be way better off. How did that go? Don, how did it go? <laughs> All right, we're, we're rooting for Don today. He's playing in a, in, in a, in a concert tonight. Uh, he's going to kill it. And um, just giving him a last few things. The other thing I was thinking about, Don, uh, and for really for all of you guys, um, this song is set for 100. I think we probably played it about 90 just now. Um, you could play it at 80. There's no rush. That's one thing that we have a tendency to do when we're playing for other people. We're like, oh, I don't want to bother them. So I tend to put, so we tend to play a little faster. Um, I would say the one thing that I have started doing that I think is the one thing that's best for my sanity as a performer is I say, I'm going to play things a tiny bit slower than I was rehearsing them. I want to just let things... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make myself play slow. That's what I say. And then as I'm playing slow, what's happening is that I'm probably playing it at normal speed <laughs> just because, you know, you have adrenaline pushing you along. Uh, but by the giving yourself permission to play slowly, you're giving yourself permission to get it right, and you're telling yourself, the audience will listen to me. The audience, they're not going anywhere. They're gonna, they're stuck for the next two minutes. <laughs> um, you're not asking them for a huge, con uh, uh, a huge part of their life that they're giving over to you, um, and you're giving them this gift of you playing music for them for, for two, three minutes. Um, and the, the slowest you could possibly play this, it might last two and a half minutes total, right? And so let yourself play slow. Let, those, let the notes have time to develop. If you make a mistake, you, you pretend you have to separate yourself from that, and you'll be like, well, that wasn't what I meant to do, and you move on to the next note. Um, and uh, I think... Um, I think this song in particular allows it, you to play it at a slower pace than you might ordinarily want to. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time, uh, just in, in celebration of Don. Uh, it's not an easy song to play. Really have to manage your breathing. Uh, yeah, um, and and Fran is Francis is giving us the opposite opinion. You know, she's finding it easier if you play it a little faster. You know, because you're not wasting as much air on things. <laughs> I'm gonna play it one more time, and you guys decide if you want to play. Those of you sneaking out, I'll see you later. Uh, from the top, one, two, three, four.
plays really well, you guys. Um, see, Fran, see, Evelyn. Uh, Marcia says, minus two star. Ah, I think that means it's not going so well. I'm noticing on this piece, when you get to those minus two stars, or typically there's one there at the end of 16, but the rest of them start the measure or start the idea off, right? Be a little bit more aggressive with them. Don't be afraid of them. So really get after them just a little bit. Oh, Danny boy. Right? And then it comes up again. The summer's gone. And it comes up one more time somewhere. Oh, it's you, it's you. Right? And, uh, oh, Danny boy. So be a little bit, little bit aggressive on those minus two stars. I think that's, I think that way you're like, you know what? I'm not afraid of you, minus two star. I'm not afraid of you. Pull it. <laughs> right? Let's see. Uh... Uh, it's nice how quickly how quickly a little bit of practice made. <laughs> so uh, yeah, obviously, guys, right? I mean, this is this is an instrument. Um, you're playing one note at a time, right? And some days it's going to go well. Some days it's not going to go well. But what you do find the second or third time you go through a piece of music, you're like, oh yeah, I got this. I know where my problems are. I know how to fix them. You know, so. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of practice makes makes a big difference. Good job, Francis. Sandy, I remember when I couldn't play this. Much better. Isn't that exciting, you guys? Isn't that exciting? It's not a big deal anymore. Uh, Marianne, uh, great advice. I love it. I sure can use it. Thanks. Ah, Don, you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have the ladies at the centers at the senior center just weeping openly uh, over Zoom tonight. And uh, it's a good thing you're not there face to face, or they might need console, Don, and you'd be you know, you'd, you know you'd be there. You know, having to be, uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, h helping the ladies through their emotional state. And so, <laughs> and way to go, Don. Let us know how it goes. Uh, I'm excited to hear it for you tomorrow. Dan, good to see you. Um, the good news is uh, what we're consistently seeing in chat is that, hey, um, I, I can play these songs way easier than I used to be able to play them, which means you're getting to be better, which means that we got to continue to push to the next level, having more and more challenging songs and all of that stuff, um, and which means that basically um, we are reaching the point where, hey, we can just play just about anything, which is exciting. Uh, Marianne, who has not been playing as much as Danny Boy was a killer when we first played it uh, week three, still a challenge, but for a good one, right? And I think Marianne, because you haven't had as much chance to play, right, is probably struggling just a little bit more um, than those of us who've been sort of knocking it out every day, which is normal, right? That's what we tell people. Hey, you should practice a little bit every day just to keep your mind in the game, to keep your lungs up to speed and all that. You can't always do that, but, you know, it, it's exciting and, and rewarding that you guys are having a positive experience with this so all right guys i'm gonna pull the plug i really do gotta go fix this thing on the computer <laughs> and i'm hoping i can get it done before class starts so uh let's see francis thank you gary enjoy a little bit of sunshine yeah we're getting and it looks like it's trying to burn off out there so hopefully hopefully we'll see the sun that's colorado this is day three of bad weather we don't know what we're gonna do all right i'm gonna pull the plug you guys have a wonderful day i'll talk to you a little later happy thanks happy saint patrick's day